Bitcoin next year, I do not see it uh, hitting 50,000. I do not see it hitting 100,000. Uh, I do think maybe in our lifetime uh, we could see that, but I don't see it happening next year. Um, and if the bank does have anything to do with it, uh, they aren't stupid and they are always ahead of the game. So I can guarantee you that if everyone thinks that it will hit 50,000 next year, they will figure out a way to make that not happen. Um, so I know that sounds a little crazy. Everyone else is out there talking about that the banks aren't involved in crypto and everything like that. But uh, I'm here to tell you that I've looked at price action for a while now. I've seen evidence of this several times in other markets and it, it, it's showing the same uh, resemblance that uh, this could potentially happen. I'm just going to kind of sit here with you guys and mark out where I believe uh, we could see Bitcoin next year. Let's see, this is a daily chart that we're looking at right now. So this means every single candle is representing um, one day worth of time, so 24 hours. What we've seen uh, with Bitcoin is we ran up, almost hit the 20,000 mark, 19,670. Uh, then we had a massive pullback down to right around 11,200 level. And then since then, we've just been kind of consolidating, right? This is what's called an ICT breaker. And if you watched my video yesterday, you would have seen me talk about how you want to buy on up candles. Um, I'm sorry, sell on up candles and buy on down candles. So you want to sell on up candles, buy on down candles. Okay, so if we're looking at the chart right now, we see I just highlighted a down candle, okay? Price traded back up into this after it made the pullback down to 12,000. Once it traded back up into this down candle, what happened? It pulled back off of it, starting to go down again, right? So what would we expect next? Well, this would be the first level that we would expect price to want to go to. 12,474, okay? So we can expect that as a first object objective uh, for our Bitcoin projections, okay? Second, we would expect this level here. And then you're probably like, Jeffrey, why are you picking these levels? Like what, what makes these levels, you know, viable? And if you go through uh, the material that the inner circle trader puts out, uh, he calls himself ICT. So when I refer to him, I'm gonna say ICT. Um, and I will, in every video that I talk about anything relating to what he teaches, I will make sure to include his stuff in the description because I want to make sure he gets credit for all this stuff. The stuff that this man has figured out is is really mind-blowing and it's not just something that is able to be implemented in Forex, uh, which is where I've learned it, and now I'm taking it over to crypto and seeing the same patterns as you would call it. I mean, you guys feel free to check them out, but let me show you uh, where we think it Bitcoin will be going. Okay, so first objective, we got 12,400, okay? Then we're gonna see 11,200. These are the obje objectives that I'm looking for. After that, I would expect here, so 8,900, right? So about 9,000. So these are the next three objectives I'm looking for for Bitcoin in 2018. How everyone else thinks that it will be going up, I do not see that right now. I see a break in market structure, uh, which is another thing that ICT teaches. Um, right here, let me delete this other box. Okay. Right here, these candles, these two down candles that we're looking at right here, they were supporting price right so what that means is price came up it supported it and started to rally higher and then it made a high and then what happened it broke down and broke below here right so that pullback broke below here so what this signifies to me is that price wants to go lower right so i know everyone thinks that the banks aren't involved but to me this is signifying that the banks are involved uh, my mentor will tell you the same thing the video that i link in the description he's explaining it uh, but you will, what we're looking at right here is, okay, a break in market structure. So they came down signifying, hey, I think, or 
This is signifying to me that I think that they may go lower, right? So, and I'm not saying it's going to crash and go to zero. We have to see what the chart gives us and then we make our predictions from there, right? Like, I'm not, I'm saying like, okay, I think this may happen and that's only because I'm building a storyline for my trade. So I've seen this break in market structure. I'm seeing this hold as resistance. Like, to me, this is the things that I'm seeing in the chart. For everyone, it may be a little bit different, but I'm seeing lower prices. If we can get above right here, which is 16,000, really, if we get above 17,000, 16,500, 17,000, if we get above that, uh, I think that we will be going to uh, pass up 20,000 and make a new high. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. So as of right now, like I said, I am looking for the lower prices. So first objective for me will be 12,000, um, 11,000, and 8,000. And also to put this on the record, I am not invested in Bitcoin whatsoever. I don't have any money in Bitcoin at all. I may purchase Bitcoin in the future, uh, but for me, I'm waiting for a cheaper price, right? I want a discounted price. I don't want to buy a full Bitcoin at $15,000 a coin. Uh, and that's just me personally. If you want to and you see something different in the chart, by all means, you should definitely do that. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. I hope this was helpful. Um, please leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. I know I'll probably get... Uh, a little bit of hate on this video because I'm saying that the banks may be involved in Bitcoin, but um, yeah, I don't know. Give me your, give me your thoughts. This is this is from my experience. This is what I see in the chart. Uh, I'd like to know what you think.